Hello, my name is Anur Patel. I'm an entrepreneur and a best-selling author. And my mission is how to help people succeed from within. I'm doing a whole series of Guru's Minute Mentoring. And this series is about presentation skills. And today I'm going to talk about the use of voice projection. And I'm going to leave you with a tip. Did you know that more than 80% of information that people receive is non-verbal? Meaning, when you are doing that 20% of verbal, when you are talking, you better make that count. And the reason why I say that, 20% making it count, is because the rest is all visual, what people will see, how they see your smile, how they feel you relate to them, if you put your hand on them, if you genuinely are okay with them. So the voice piece of 20% needs to have a highest impact because it's very short, very small. Here's an exercise I'll give you. All right? And the exercise will help you with certain things that people don't do when they are standing in front of a crowd because they cannot articulate their story well. They are not clean. The words go all mumble jumble. The volume goes up and the volume comes down. They don't have a specific emphasis on what they are trying to say. The pitch could be very high and squeaky because they are all tense and stressed. These are some of the things you get. So to overcome these things in front of a, uh, an audience, I say stand in front of a mirror and practice two or three slides that you have in an abnormal way. What do I mean by that? So take some of your slides and shout or sing or bring out the pitch or raise your voice. Bring it down and calm it down so people can think. Pause. The power of pause is very important. The pace needs to be slowed down. Example, there was a race with the hare and the tortoise. And the tortoise took its own time how to get to the finish line. But it was focused to get there. The hare just wanted to run and fast and do all that. And was not right. So you see how I use my voice, my tone, my pace and all of these. So these things need to be practiced. When you practice this and it becomes natural behavior, you find that your, no, your voice adapts to that whenever it sees some words. I hope that tip was very useful for you. If you want more, please log in and register on marupatel.com and there are a number of other tips together with my training program for how to present and communicate with maximum impact. Thank you and I hope you found it useful.